Your life works. One of the most precious things in the world is time, for time is the essence of life. Units of time in days, months, years, are the measure of the lifespan of every human being. While no one can predict the lifespan of an individual child, or even that of an elderly grandfather, nevertheless the life expectancy of large groups of people can be readily determined by experts in the life insurance field. For example, insurance statistics show that out of 10,000 people of 35 years of age, 6,400, or about 64 percent, can be expected to reach the age of retirement. Using facts such as these, life insurance companies have issued policies to more than half our population. Added up, these policies amount to about $4,700 for each American family. Financial protection is thus provided to individuals desiring security in their later years, as well as in cases of emergency. Until needed to pay these policy benefits, most of the premium dollars paid by policyholders to their insurance companies are used to finance the expansion of industry and commerce, the operations of railroads and other transportation systems, the costs of certain local, state and national government activities, the development of utilities such as electric power, light and gas companies, and the construction of multiple housing projects in urban areas. In analyzing the operations of life insurance companies, which provide employment for more than 300,000 men and women, it is apparent that a great variety of talents and abilities contribute to the process of issuing a policy and keeping that policy in force until it is paid out to the policyholder or beneficiary. In order to understand the functions of the life insurance home office and to study the job opportunities it provides, let's start from the moment the life insurance agent secures a written application for life insurance. The application is then mailed to the home office of the life insurance company. Thousands of such forms from agents and medical examiners throughout the country are received at the home office and after sorting and classifying are delivered to the lay underwriters. The job of the lay underwriter is to determine whether the applicant can qualify for life insurance. The lay underwriter's responsibility is great for his decision must be fair both to the applicant and to the company. The decision is reached only after careful study of the agent's part of the application the medical report from the local doctor, and perhaps a report from the inspection bureau relative to the financial, physical, and moral status of the applicant. Qualifications for this position include a thorough knowledge of life insurance, finance, and economics, ability to understand medical reports, and a knowledge of occupations and the hazards they may entail. Working closely with the underwriter is the medical department staffed with doctors, the doctors function in an executive capacity, assisting the lay underwriter in appraising applicants for insurance, selecting and supervising the practicing physicians in the field who examine applicants for life insurance. Definite working hours are enjoyed by the home office doctor. At the same time, he can contribute to medical research through his studies of the trends in disease and illness. Information from medical reports on policyholders is filed for future reference. File clerks in this department must be accurate and diligent in their work, for an error in the records could cause serious complications in either issuing policies or in paying claims. The cost of insurance is determined by experts who plan the features of all of the life insurance policies, the actuaries. The job of the actuary is one of the most important in the life insurance company. He is to life insurance what the engineer is to bridge building. The actuary determines the basic facts upon which the company operates. He is the mathematical expert who prepares statistics regarding length of life, 
establishes premium rates, computes policy values, and forecasts probable results. To be an actuary, one should be a college or university graduate with a major in mathematics and with better than average ability. One should also study law, economics, finance, accounting, English composition, and other cultural subjects. To achieve professional status, he must pass a series of eight examinations offered jointly by the two professional actuarial organizations. It usually takes from six to nine years of part-time study on the job to complete the series. Due to the actuary's comprehensive training, he is qualified for higher administrative positions, particularly if he shows ambition, initiative, and the ability to work with people. His duties require frequent consultation with key executives, such as the president and treasurer of the company. The president is in close contact with the treasurer, who plans the financial policies of the company and supervises all funds. Among the personnel in the treasurer's department are the cashiers, in charge of all cash transactions, incoming as well as outgoing. Then there are the controllers, accountants, and auditors, who supervise the general books and records of the company. The manual labor is greatly reduced by bookkeeping machines, tabulating machines, automatic check writers, addressographs, and many others. The treasurer's department may also be responsible for wise investment of company funds. This function is directed by experienced financial advisors, including mortgage experts, real estate appraisers, and securities analysts. All legal problems in connection with life insurance company operations are usually managed by a staff of professionally qualified lawyers. They guide the company through the various complexities of legal matters, supervise the writing of policy contracts, and advise agents and field representatives on issues that may affect the interests of policyholders and company alike. The claims department is responsible for paying the beneficiary the amount due on the death of the insured. There are no schools or colleges to instruct in claims examining. Experience alone is the only teacher. And as in most careers in life insurance, the real training begins on the job after you get started with the company. For this reason, many who plan on life insurance careers can find initial openings as clerks, stenographers, machine operators, or file clerks in the home office, and work up to higher paying positions of greater responsibility. Special skills required for these jobs are typing, to handle the heavy home office correspondence, shorthand, to take dictation, or the ability to operate a stenotype or transcribing machine in order to take dictation at high speed. Mechanical devices are numerous in the home office, and special skills are necessary to operate equipment such as key punching machines, photostat machines, tabulators, duplicating machines, and postage metering machines. Young men and women just out of high school and without special skills are often hired as clerks if they show promise of being able to advance. Most life insurance companies make every effort to aid the advancement of employees. Educational programs are offered to home office personnel. Employees are encouraged to study for self-improvement. Some work for degrees which carry professional recognition. All may acquire skills that will aid them to qualify for better positions with the company. Other benefits generally enjoyed by employees include a five-day work week, planned social and recreational activities, vacations with pay, and low-cost insurance programs, combining group life, accident and health, and hospitalization. The job opportunities are numerous, and there are places for unskilled beginners as well as highly trained technicians and professional men. Office work in life insurance as a career offers many advantages. It is a growing business, a business founded on a basic need in human nature for protection and security. In life insurance, you are part of a service that contributes to the welfare of your country and your fellow citizens. You'll find satisfaction and security if you select life insurance as your life work. <laughs>